Hey guys, the video I have for you today, well I had a whole nother one planned, but this one, I hope I got enough of it filmed to show what I found, and I mean it's unbelievable that this was like this, but um, when I got there I was told that the whole house breaker had tripped and they reset it, and now the air conditioning was not working, and so that's how I got into this. So y'all just gonna have to see this for yourselves. There's no way it was like this last some last winter. Kind of shocking. Stay tuned. Here it comes. <laughs> All right, let's see if we even got power. Somebody has put a screw in from the top. That's just lovely. Fantastic. Sorry about that. I suspect we have partial power. I ain't got nothing. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, they said it threw sparks from inside that closet. Where the air handler is, so let's take a better look at what's going on in there. I mean, something obviously has changed. The air conditioning was running just a couple days let's ago. Let's try to see why this thing's blowing sparks. Really? 
I'm not really seeing anything. Hmm. That wasn't touching. Hmm. All right, let's check for shorts to ground. Why am I shooting sparks? Hmm. Um, Take this out and look, look in there. Alright, I'm not seeing anything abnormal. Mama looking for it and I had to find that for Daisy. Well, I forgot I had a newer ball somewhere. It's okay, Mom. She's going to have to go. She said she'll come back Sunday. Hold on. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Y'all, I've got to try it again, y'all. Um, it might pop the breaker again. i got to try it. Okay. All right. We're going to try this again. I've got the breaker turned off at the furnace. All right, so it's gonna be something in the furnace. Hmm. I can walk back too. Yes, go ahead, okay. just step I'm over sorry. my bag. Okay, one thing we got to consider is that um. It may not be a short to ground, but a power arc between two legs. And right now the two legs should not be touching anywhere, I don't think. Or else heat strips would be on or blower would be on. What? All right, let me see. Nothing on that one. Nothing on that one. Yeah. All right, let me check this blower. Checking is right here. Thank you. 
All right, those two legs are supposed to. Hmm. They do connect in the motor. But let me see what the resistance is. Six ohms, that's probably right. Let's disconnect the motor real quick. All right, this one is this one is just a heat strip. Nothing happened. Scared to t turn on the other one. A club sandwich. Mm, I see it. All right. Turn that back off and I'll show you what I just found. Let's use this right here. This power right here goes to this leg. So when it makes, it goes to this leg. Those are opposite legs. That is direct short from one leg to another. Okay. So this is wired incorrectly. It happened when their heat came on and right now they have no AC. Mm. Yeah, this, let me figure this out and we're gonna rewire it. All right. This one comes from the bottom, goes across here. To this heat strip so the other power comes from here across here to that heat strip now and this red one comes from the top goes across to here and on the other side of the power from here to here goes across to that limit so now it's wired correctly Let's see if it'll even turn on. Mm. I'm afraid, I'm afraid to try. Whew. Better than what we had last time. Transformers humming, pulling 0.6 amps. Hmm. All right, I was only getting 12 volts.
All right, let's see here. Hundred and twenty four volts. Nothing. I'm missing a leg. <laughs> All right, we may have fixed the immediate problem, but um, we've lost a leg of power. We gotta go outside. All right, we're out here at the meter. I think we may have tripped a breaker on a pole somewhere. And there's pole SEs over there. Because <laughs> as y'all see, I'm getting 100. I want y'all to see this. I'm getting 122 volts. Now, normally when you miss a leg of power, that'll show zero. That's showing one of those to ground. <clears throat> you see right here, that's my ground. I got 120 volts right there. And nothing right here. So that leg is grounded. Don't ask me how we did that. All right, guys, when I went back and edited that video and I was looking at it, um, I was testing power going into the trailer out there at the pole. And normally when I have partial power like that, I have zero volts between one leg and the other. And then I have 120 volts to ground. But in that case, I had 120 volts between one leg and the other. And one leg had 120 volts to ground and the other one did not. So um, I guess that confused me a little bit. But either way, um, the power company has gone out there and corrected the power problem. And I think I'm going back tomorrow. Um, the property manager said that they were going to go out there and just flip the breaker and see how it does. We'll see. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch you on the next one.